Good morning gamers, welcome back to the Minecraft world. Today is a big day, finally, it's happened. Minecraft 1.17 is out, and the world, I updated it. There's no going back. We're in a brand new fresh world, except we're not. This is the old world. Now all of the gear that I've grinded for up until this point, we worked so hard. The Crocs, the wings, the chest plate, everything. The bow, everything, it goes inside of the shulker box, and then the shulker box, it goes inside of the ender chest, and this pickaxe too. Gear. You will be missed. We worked so hard for you. We grinded and grinded and worked very hard. And not all of you is netherite, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to miss it. It's completely off limits for now. It's a new update, which means it's time for a fresh start. After I break this under chest, which is apparently going to take like a really long time. But wait, hold up. You're probably wondering how we got here, what I'm even doing right now, maybe. Uh, so let me catch you up. Right before today's episode, I said goodbye to the jungle base. It was emotional. It was painful. But I said goodbye. The jungle base is still in this world. I haven't reset the chunks or anything. I just moved really far away from there. We picked where we're going to move to, where I am today, a couple episodes ago. Anyways, I left the jungle base for once and for all. We'll be back one day, but definitely not today and not anytime soon. After I left the jungle base, I closed the game. I waited. 1.17 eventually released. After 1.17 released, I loaded the game up in 1.17. But before I did that, I wiped the chunks again in the guide world. After clearing the chunks, loaded the game up in 1.17, updated the world, then I started recording this video. I did the intro, I put all of my stuff inside of the shulker box, it was a little dramatic, then I put it all inside of the ender chest. After that I started punching the ender chest with my hand, and that brings us to this exact moment right here. The ender chest is now, finally, gone. All of our gear is completely erased. Uh, other than this book. I need this book for the comment of the day. Ah, uh, it feels so weird to have like nothing in this world again, like especially in this world. Like this is my longest world, but that's where we are. It's time to chop down our first tree. Now I have to send a big shout out to It Is Bees on Twitter. I leave a link to the Twitter down in the description. The skin is beautiful. Like it's, it's perfect. Look at it, like the new hat. Like it's perfection. So a huge thank you to Bees for the skin. There's a link to their Twitter down in the description. The, the pixel work that they do is like literally perfect. In fact, my old skin that I was using like not the original like really bad one but like the one that i was using right before this one that skin was made by them too ah uh, two trees chopped down that's probably enough wood for now so fresh world which means brand new graphing table the first graphing table of this world we pretend okay i can't believe it we're literally starting from scratch again like completely from scratch wooden pickaxe it's time for a wooden pickaxe and then it's time to find stone somewhere looks perfect to me or actually actually hold on let's actually not take that stone let's go to get some other stone because I wanted to leave this area looking good. Now, today's episode, the goal is pretty simple. We have three goals. Goal number one, uh, upgrade the tools a little bit. Goal number two, uh, set up a small base. Goal number three, get a copper block, a single block of copper, place it down on the ground, and look at it. <laughs> I mean, it's Minecraft 1.17. 1.17 is all about amethyst. It's all about copper. It's all about copper. Yeah, that's perfect. So I've been covering 1.70 for like a long time, like since the snapshot started, long time ago. And this could be embarrassing. This could be really bad. I can't remember if we can break copper with wooden. I'm like 99% sure that we can break this with stone though, right? All right, copper, copper already. Sweet copper. On day number one, we got copper, which is amazing. And by day number one, I actually mean day number 1,388. That's where we're at right now. Okay, so the gravel. Of course the gravel needs to be here. How much copper are we going to get? Oh, we already have enough for a block. Okay, well, um, maybe I should have made more difficult goals. 24 copper. 24, that's insane. That is crazy. So you remember how I said we have three goals? Well, we actually have a couple more goals. I kind of completely forgot about that. Let's see if we can hit 10,000 likes today for Minecraft 1.17. So we want to make a copper block and get started with a base and everything like that. But we also want to be able to get a bed. I don't have any coal yet. I mean, I know there's coal over there. So we'll just keep that right there. I might regret saying this, but uh, we can't take the sheep out. Like, we can't just walk up to the sheep like savages. No, that was the old me. We, we won't do that. We, we will actually just find iron. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be able to find iron somewhere and shear the sheep. The sheep get to live. They deserve life. Which means I'm probably going to need to find a cave somewhere cave oh i guess the stuff is gonna be everywhere like i was saying though i've been covering 1.17 for a while but this is actually like the first time that i'm actually experiencing this stuff in cave uh, cave perfect perfect okay so look i zombie i didn't make a sword okay this is gonna have to work go away buddy go away maybe you would drop the armor too hey 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 iron hey 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 come on 
<laughs> okay, so that's taken care of. Iron. All we need is two pieces of iron right here. Wait. Oh, that's right. That's right. I think it's like the excitement with the new update. But I'm forgetting everything. And that's what I was going to say. I've been talking about 1.17 for a long time, but this is the first time that I'm actually checking it out in 100% vanilla survival. Sweet berries are going to have to be the food option for now. Uh, it kind of works out because we're in a taiga, but I kind of am sick of sweet berries. I can't believe it, though. I'm not used to it at all. This feels so weird. If the whole time I've played the game, obviously, it's always been like a block of iron, like, like gravel, but iron, and now it's completely different. That feels so weird. How did I forget about that, too? That's like a huge part of the update. Perfect, perfect. Making solid progress. Uh oh, we're in like the evening now, aren't we? Mm hmm. Should probably make a sword. All right, so that's enough iron for shears. All we need to do now is finish the job up by finding some sheep and then finding a red flower. Uh, what do we have? We have two? Come on, come on, so close. Okay, careful, careful. We can't get taken out by the sweet berries. Making solid progress, though. All I need is one more sheep. Uh, one more sheep. Oh, forget about one sheep. How about three sheep? Three sheep, definitely good. Okay, now a flower. There has to be a red flower somewhere in here, right? Like, come on. Aha. Aha. Perfect. Perfect. Come with me. Hey, an egg. All right, we're doing pretty good, but it's nighttime now. We need to get back to the base and definitely turn this wool into a bed. Maybe we'll do nighttime at some point. Who knows? Perhaps. It's definitely not off of the books. Uh, but not today. Definitely not. All right, making perfect timing back over here at the base. It's time for a bed and even better It's time for a red bed now. We can actually sleep and there we go day number one just like that It's already over. We have the bed. We have the crafting table We have the furnace and we almost have the copper block now We can smelt this stuff so this is actually a huge first for me. Usually when there's a new update and I update the game, I actually completely abandon my old world. This is the first time that I'm actually keeping the old world into the next update, which I have to be honest, it feels so good. Like, I, I mean, we're done with the jungle for now. We're not going to be back over there for a while, but it feels nice, like, knowing that I can just, like, literally walk over there and, like, look at the temple again and get everything good like that. Like, I don't know. It feels nice. I'm not going to do that, though. So uh, we're going to set up a new starter house for sure, and it's going to be the best starter house that we've made. But we're not going to do that today. We're going to start things off a little bit more simple because I want the starter house to be built out of the new blocks. So what we're going to do instead, uh, instead of a starter house, we're going to make a starter tent. Now listen, trust me, I promise you, this is going to be the best tent that you've ever seen. It's going to be perfect. 1.17 adds a lot of new things. Uh, one of the things that I'm most excited for is Deep Slate. 100% I want to build with this stuff. I'm like really excited for it, but I don't think we're going to be able to get it today. Now I don't really know how much wool I'm going to need, but I think this is kind of perfect. Like we could basically just run around in the forest over here for now and keep sharing the sheep because it seems like there's like a million sheep in this forest. So you might have some questions about this world. Like what are we going to do? How are we going to do things? Am I going to repeat stuff? So in terms of repeating stuff, Stuff, like the really basic like early game stuff like uh, stone the, then iron and all that no we're not gonna do that we're definitely restarting but I don't really feel like repeating everything because we're in the same season so if you want to see that really early game stuff just go back to like the early part of the series and like rewatch it or something what are we gonna do over here well we're gonna build an entirely new base an entirely new zone we're gonna try and use a lot of the new blocks the build style is gonna be a little bit different it might be similar a little bit but it's also gonna be different and then this new zone is going to have like new farms and things like that. There are actually a lot of farms that I still haven't built in this world. And then there are some farms that I have built in this world that I'd like to either build better versions of over here or different versions. For example, one of the big goals that I have for myself, like right off the bat here, is probably going to be a sheep farm. I definitely want to set up a sheep farm over here like a little bit sooner than I set up in the last area. Which kind of works out perfectly because there are literally sheep all over the place. I mean, I can't find any right now. Ah, uh, never mind. I take it back. There you are. Stay still. Yeah, I definitely want to try and like get these sheep and put them inside of a pen at some point, like probably like sooner rather than later. So I definitely should get some seeds. Another farm that I definitely want to set up over here and definitely absolutely make it better than what we have in this world, sugarcane, like a high efficiency, like big sugarcane farm. I don't know if that means it's going to be like a big field or if it's going to be a tower or something like that, but sugarcane farm for sure. Personally, I'm like really excited for what I have planned. We're definitely going to check out a lot of the new stuff over here too. But yeah, we'll keep talking about it in the next couple episodes. If you're confused, uh, just watch. And all of the gear, the other base is completely off limits. Now, I don't know how long it's going to be off limits for. I kind of can't decide if we're going to do like until I get all of the 1.17 advancements or until I get all the way up to netherite or like diamond or, or something like that. But it's all off limits for now. I won't be going back over there in between episodes. I, I've completely abandoned the area. 
you know, one thing that I probably should be doing too is replanting some of these sweet berries because if I just keep eating them, I'm gonna run out. Long story short though, it's a brand new start, but we're in the same world. So I'm not too sure how much wool I really need for what I wanna do. I'm thinking probably about a stack, which I'm almost there actually, which is kind of crazy. I've spent literally my whole second day just talking and shearing sheep. Oh yeah, and standing still and eating sweet berries. Delicious. Hey, I found another egg. Okay, so back over here. We're gonna set up our base, uh, at least for now, in this little spot right here, which means we need to do a couple things. We're gonna need a shovel, and we're gonna need an axe. I also need a campfire for food. Okay, so we need to push the land back so I have a little bit more room to work with here. I think if we were to maybe push it back to like here and then clear out the trees in this area, so like these couple trees, maybe this one too, uh, maybe that one as well. Like we just clear out the trees and make a small space for me to actually be able to build in here. The ferns are amazing. I'm gonna keep the ferns and the leaves are pretty nice too. I'm gonna keep some of the leaves. Definitely not all of them though. So one of the biggest things that I'm excited to get is deep slate. Definitely want to build with deep slate, but another thing that I'm very curious about geodes we're gonna have to go on a geode hunt at some point and find a geode hopefully a big one and then i'd like to try and work out some kind of high efficiency amethyst farm in survival i've messed with this stuff in creative mode a little bit but that was a while ago all right mm, hopefully it's good i'm not too sure if it's not good it's at least a really good start before i forget i should also definitely make a hoe and plant some of this wheat day number two it's over all right, so we're at a really good spot. Now it's time for the actual build. I'm thinking that we'll maybe line like some sweet berries over there for now. I don't like it. I'm not proud of it, but it has to work. It is what it is. And then the build can maybe start like back here. Here's what I'm thinking. So we're going to make a tent uh, with white wool. I think we go up like that. Then we go up like that. Then we go up again. Uh, but this time, maybe it gets like a little bit more steep like that. And then finally, the top of the tent uh, up here. I, and I think it gets like really steep. And then it slopes back down like in the exact same shape on the other side. It's not going to be very big. But it's gonna be good. I mean, as a starter town, like, come on. We don't need, like, a bunch of room inside of it. I think that's a pretty good shape, right? So we make it go, uh, like that. And then maybe we have it go, like, uh, what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe, like, seven. Like, seven? Uh, is that it's pretty long. We have a lot of space inside of the thing. That should be good. So then all I have to do is fill it in all the way. And I'm realizing that I most likely don't have enough wool. Uh, that's wonderful. <laughs> At least we have, like, enough to, like, finish, uh, more than half of the thing. That's cool. Yep, I'm out of wool. Mm, probably need like 16 more. Which means it's back to the sheep forest for me. Three? Three? Mm-hmm. Three? Ah, uh, come on. Three? Seriously? Three? Three? Nice. Okay, that actually wasn't bad because there are so many sheep over here. I was able to get like 18 more wool like really, really quick. This definitely is going to be enough to finish. Perfect. Uh, okay, careful. Perfect. So we could stop there, definitely. But at the same time, we can. We have to make it look a little bit better than this. And it's floating right now, which is kind of weird looking. Oh, no, oh, no, I completely forgot about the copper. The copper, I was supposed to make a block. Here we go. Block of copper, we'll place it down uh, right there for now. And then we'll watch it age. Over time, over time, of course. Okay, so we could definitely make this thing look a little bit better with some fences. I think, like, fences down there to support the thing. That would look pretty good. Same thing on the back side. Fences and fences. Uh, then maybe we do, like, a fence at the top, right? To, like, add extra support. And then maybe, like, another one right there. I feel like that looks pretty good. And then maybe no fences right there. We leave it, like, open like that. Then we have, like, the slope, and it's cool looking. Since we have our house built, we might as well take this stuff down and put it inside of the house now. I'm thinking we could have, like, our smelting room, like, over here, which is, like, perfect. And then maybe our crafting room over here, which is also perfect. Trying to consider a good workflow here, I'm thinking maybe the storage room goes, like, right there. But at the same time, I pick up a lot of things, so maybe the storage room is, like, also over there. But instead of two separate chests, we do one big chest, that's sweet. The bed, oh, for sure, for sure. The bed can go inside, too, right there. I have a bunch of leaves, too. I kind of wanted to make, like, bushes around this thing. Eventually, we could totally turn those into, like, azalea leaves, though. That would look really good. And since I know where the gravel is, which is, like, right over here, I could definitely add more coarse dirt to this thing and make it look even more cool. I didn't really think about leaving space over here, though. That might be kind of cramped. So what I think we might end up doing is, like, add maybe some more, like, rows of sweet berries over here. It might not be a bad idea. I mean, we're not going to have sweet berries for too long, but maybe, like, a couple more rows over there. Then I could farm trees right over here. I feel like that's kind of perfect. Final things that I need inside of here. A little bit more light. Definitely could brighten up the space. Maybe another furnace, too. Could definitely use more furnaces. And you already know what I need to make with these furnaces. Come on. You, you already know. 
<gasps> I can't make it. I can't make it. I can't make it. I genuinely can't believe it. I didn't even consider that. <laughs> Starting over. Uh, that's that's going to be rough. Well, things are going extraordinarily well. Uh, <laughs> other than food. Things are going pretty good. But it's time to go back to the mines. There's no way that I could end today's episode without a stone cutter. Now, before I go into the mines, I should definitely... Oh, I already had torches. Yeah, I'll, I'll clean my hop bar up really soon. So all we're looking for is a little bit more iron. Yeah, I thought I saw some iron behind that zombie before. Uh, this cave system. Oh, glow lichen. More copper. Iron everywhere. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay, but let's focus. Uh, all that I really need here is a, a couple pieces of iron. Technically one. We'll get more though, for sure, definitely, because we can. I should also probably start stocking up on some cobblestone. I literally use like the last of my cobblestone on a on a stone cutter. <laughs> Starting from scratch, especially this world that I'm already been in, is like crazy feeling. Like it feels so weird. I feel like I have everything, but at the same time, I, I have literally nothing. It's gonna make things interesting, for sure. So how about this cave? I feel like I should probably save the iron, right? Like, I don't need it right now, right? Oh man, it's a dead end, and I ran out of coal. I mean, there's coal right here, but I ran out of coal. That statement right there proves it exactly, precisely. I feel like I have everything, but I'm really just a peasant. Eventually, I think I might want to come back down in here and light this whole cave up. Definitely gonna have to check the cave out, try and find like a geode, cool things like that, but I think that's enough of the caves for today. Oh, you know what? You know what, actually? I need this coal. Okay, well, that's gonna have to do. So going forward, I have a couple things in mind. Uh, one of the biggest things, mining, for sure. So a lot of the 1.17 stuff is under the ground, like deep slate and copper and things like that. Definitely wanna find more of that. I also have farms in mind. We need a better food farm, and we need like a way, way better food farm. Like, I'm not just talking about a bigger sweet berry farm. I mean, we'll make that too, maybe. But we also need a wheat farm, and we also need like a cow farm, at least. And sugarcane farm. That's the sugarcane farm right there. We'll have to expand that farm later, for sure. But, uh, anyways, home sweet home. Raw iron, coal, and while we wait for that to happen, comment of the day. Episode 122, Waddles, you should totally make a melon farm. Yeah, so that's a really good call. I wanted to use that comment to point out that there's actually so much that we haven't done in this world quite yet, including things like a melon farm, better sugarcane farm. I think I talked about that earlier, but yeah, there's a lot that we haven't done in this world. Even like a better basic crop farm, like more than just like a circle on the ground, we haven't ever set one of those up in this world. This sun fire right here, it's not much right now, but remember this moment, okay? Like remember this spot and how it looks right now, because it's going to look entirely different soon. As far as the eye can see, gigantic farm, another gigantic farm, another farm over here and a huge starter house too, that is beautiful. Aw oh, man, it's gonna be great and I'm like really inspired, really excited for what I'm gonna do over here, including crafting a stone cutter. He did it. He actually did it. No way. So I'm really happy with the tent. Don't get me wrong, I like it. It's nice, but it definitely needs more work. Maybe we could do like a support thing like that. I feel like that maybe helps it, right? Makes it a little more real looking. Could we actually do some logs up here too? Would logs up there help this thing out? And then maybe we like strip the logs so they blend in with the fences? I mean, I feel like that's pretty cool. Add some more support. You know what they say, when you don't know what to do the build, you just add more fences to the build. They also say, um, sleep. Okay, so look, this is how we're gonna do things. We're gonna put really valuable things, like those two things over here, and then probably like everything else over here. I'm also gonna cook up the rest of our copper, and how's the block doing? I guess it's doing. So I would never sit on the ground around a campfire. Like, I mean, I'm not using the campfire yet, but when I am, I would never sit on the ground around the campfire. Like, no way, that's like for savages. So here we go. Uh, look at it, it's perfect. It's a chair with the campfire. Maybe it's a little close to the campfire, yes, but it's fine. You may not realize it, but you're witnessing history right here. You're here for a big moment. Tent Kingdom. It begins today, right here, with a simple beginning. Like I said earlier, imagine this spot right here. Remember it, because it will be glorious one day. And hey, the wheat's ready. That's awesome. Which is the perfect spot to end today's episode. That's going to do it for today's episode. Oh, yeah. I moved the chair. I decided I should probably have a better chair, like, over here next to the copper block, which is pretty sweet. And we're going to have to move it. It's going to be in the way. That's it for Minecraft Guide 122. What would you like to see in the next episode? Let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's video, leave a like. And if you made it to this point in the video, you're the best person in the world. Big thank you again to Bees for the skin. It is beautiful. Link to their Twitter down in the description. And I will see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye.